like uh, archaeology here. When I was a boy, I uh, daydreamed about becoming an archaeologist. I'm glad I didn't. This is like really laborious, tedious work. And how many archaeologists achieve uh, fame? You know, like uh, guys who uh, found uh, Tutank Tutank Amun. <laughs> it's kind of like archaeology here, uh, bearing the uh, surface. There's the section above the uh, broken candlesticks and upside down birds in the lower right. The Haifa bird, which has uh, become visible now, albeit uh, it's not clear yet. The uh, Talit parasol section above it, the glass globe, which has a grout on the top, uh, kind of north part of it, more talit section there, this uh, blue sky section with the uh, Picasso-esque tile I made, uh, 1972, and uh, there's uh, uh, the upper right, which that's very clear now. It still needs a lot of cleaning, and there are tiles that are not yet unearthed, especially above the uh, the branches of the manure towards the top. And there's the uh, section which has become clear, but also needs a lot of work yet. Uh, that's above the man's head and between where his arms and hands are, as you see those wood spaces there in the drawing. So uh, there you have it, it's coming along, ha uh, Sunday evening here, mid-December. Uh, happy holidays to everybody. <coughs> Greetings, it's uh, Tuesday morning, November, uh, I think it's the 29th, um, and uh, I am uh, working on the uh, mosaic. So there's the body in the lower left of the uh, Muscovy duck. The head is completely uh, slathered and hidden right now because I just slathered on. It's like what uh, Isaac Vesheva, a singer, used to talk about. He used to, he used to go to some uh, uh, Jewish dairy restaurant in the Upper West Side of Manhattan near where he lived, and he'd get, um, you know, I forget what it was. What was it? But with, with dollops of sour cream on it. This is like dollops of grout. It's very high fiber, by the way. Anyway, so I've I've slathered, dolloped on over this uh, good sized section here. It's about a foot high um, with the grout. And it's very tricky at this point in time because uh, I don't want to let it harden too much. But I also need and I need to clean it off ASAP, at least on the surface, because I've got rocks, stones, bones, glass. Uh, dice, what have you, various chazerai, that's Yiddish, so like garbage, junk. Um, detritus, as Reiner put it in the, when he was over here on uh, Sunday. Um, and um, some of these surfaces, um, if the grout's on there more than like a, f whatever, however, very short time period, it's going to get extremely difficult to get it off the surface, if at all. So uh, I've got a start doing that, but I have to be, the, the tricky part is being able to remove the grout without um, having it pull out from the cracks and crevices between each section of the various uh, things that are, uh, that make up the mosaic. So, uh, I'm going to get to work. Bye. <laughs> interesting doing uh, photography with just one hand when the other hand looks like ah. Ah. anyway uh, this kind of reminds me of when I was five years old playing with mud right off the sidewalk good uh, 
Good therapy. Anyway, we're on the uh, upper end of the left side here, and uh, it's getting a good, uh, good workout. Getting to do a little massage here. And I decided uh, with a couple of areas here to to leave some of the grout on there, kind of give it this uh, kind of you know, caked in uh, look, which I did in uh, one previous mosaic in the uh, bottom of the uh, one of the uh, two children on the Warsaw Ghetto Street, which kind of undercover here because I've got it covered plastic. But in the lower right quadrant, I decided to not scrape all the grout off, kind of giving it a uh, a certain look of all the tiles in this piece were meant to represent like all the thousands of plates and saucers and kitchenware and uh, so on that were in all these homes in the uh, Jewish district of Warsaw, which became the ghetto, all of which were were um, made into uh, oblivion when they uh, knocked each building down, building by building, and made it into rubble. So that was meant to uh, continue that effect. So while I, on the left here, I've, I've pretty much cleaned off every tile. And then it goes into the section where I kind of left it um, kind of maybe caulky, C-A-U-L-K-Y would be the, the term uh, I mean to uh, infer. Now this above here, I've just been letting all this ground in, so that will get scraped clean. It's a whole different section. Anyway, there you have it.